Hey guys, having a VPN is a great way to have a secure connection to the internet and having it on your own network is a great way to have access to all the applications you have running on your network. But did you know that it's very easy to set up your own VPN with WireGuard in a Docker container on your own network? Now the main components of this are gonna be a machine running Docker engine so that we can run the container that's gonna have the WireGuard installation in it. Secondly, you're going to need to know the IP address of the device that you have the server running on. And you're going to need to go into your router configuration to forward traffic on the port that WireGuard is listening to, to the IP address of that server so that you can establish that connection from the internet anywhere. Secondly, I would recommend you set up a DDNS if you haven't already, that's a dynamic domain name. Uh, you can do this for free with a service like No IP. And what this does is give you a URL or a domain that is always gonna point to the IP address of your router because your internet service provider is going to change that IP address. Now, sometimes, it, it doesn't happen that often. Sometimes it happens when you reset your router. In any case, it's convenient to just have a domain like thomaswildtech.ddns.net. And then I can, I can use that in my WireGuard configuration so that I don't need to change my client uh, WireGuard configuration if my IP address changes to my router. So the first thing I'm gonna do is install Docker on Ubuntu. I'm just gonna install Docker Engine. If you're on Windows or Mac, go ahead and install Docker Desktop. To do this, I'm simply going to do a Google search for Docker en Engine install. And I'll jump here. Now again, if you have Windows or Mac and you wanna run this on your PC, install Docker Desktop. Um, for Linux distribution, I don't really need Docker Desktop. I can just run the Docker engine and let's click on Ubuntu. And I'm just gonna run through these commands very quick. I generally do this with every tutorial. So let's just go ahead and install the Docker engine. Okay, we're gonna run the second command here. And then let's just test out the hello world. And we have it. So we have Docker installed now. The next thing that we need to do is find the Docker compose file and I will have a link in the description for this repository. So we're going to search WireGuard Docker Compose. And this is the app that we're gonna use, the WGEasy. And this is so cool because it also has a web interface in which you can control and add clients very easily. Now the super cool thing about this particular Docker application is that you don't really need to do a whole lot of configuration. When you're using the web UI, you can just create a new client. That's gonna generate the client key pair and already add it to the WireGuard server configuration. Then you can just send that configuration file to whoever needs it or scan the QR code with your phone and now you have a WireGuard connection that you can instantly hit the button and connect to. On the web UI, you can then see who's actively connected to the VPN. Okay, so let's jump over to the Docker Compose file. And we are just gonna give this a copy. Now let's go ahead and create a directory for this Docker application to run. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a Docker folder, CD into that, and then let's create a folder for WireGuard and we're going to cd into this. And then I'm gonna create a file called docker compose.yaml and just paste in that docker file. Now you see we have two ports exposed here from the docker container. One is the port that the actual VPN server is listening to. And then the other one is the web interface for the management of the WireGuard server. So this is the port that we're going to need to actually port forward to from our router so that we can establish the WireGuard connection. And then this particular interface, we can just access from the server 
or we can open it up on our firewall to op to be able to access it from the network. That's pretty nice because then once you're connected to the VPN, you can access the admin panel because you're on the network. I am going to set the password and this password hash was recently added. Now I believe that this is only really in effect on the nightly builds. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the password manually, but in future builds, this you might not even see this in the um, Docker Compose file. That's fine. Instead, you are going to create this password hash, and there are instructions on how to do that here. But for now, I'm just going to set this. So let's go ahead and enable the firewall if it's not already enabled. So I'm going to do sudo ufw, which is uncomplicated firewall. And I'm going to say status, it's inactive. So I'm going to enable it. And now I need to allow the ports to, and I want to do it for both the um, WireGuard port as well as the web interface port so that I can access the web interface from any device that's connected to the network. So I'm going to do sudo ufw allow 50821, oh, let's do o first. And if you're on your Windows machine, you can do this as well. Um, just go into the Windows firewall settings and you can also allow a port through the, the firewall interface. So we'll do that and then let's go ahead and allow the web interface as well. And let's just make sure we got this password correct. So I forgot to delete this. You can set the password to whatever you like and then let's save that. Okay, I think I messed up the alignment here. So let's go ahead and save that again. We also need to go ahead and set the WireGuard host. Now this is going to be either our, well, preferably our DDNS, because then it's just always gonna be dynamic and we don't have to come in and, and change uh, whenever, I, whenever our IP address changes. Um, if you wanna just go ahead and, if you don't have a DDNS yet and you're not ready to set one up, just go ahead and use the IP address of your router. That's totally fine. You can just go to, you know, what's my IP address? And this will show you your IP address. So you can just go ahead and throw that in there. Otherwise, you can just put your DDNS into the Docker Compose file. Now, I don't really care which one I use since this is a demo. I'll just go ahead and use my IP address. So that's fine. We'll just go ahead and throw this in here. And then we'll paste that right there. So now we have our IP address and we have a password set. Go ahead and save that. And then now let's start this up. Okay, before I actually set up the port forwarding on the router, let's just go ahead and check out the web interface. So that is running on 51821. Let's jump over to localhost and 51821. And you can see, oh, you know what? I didn't set the language. So let's go ahead and change the language here to English. Save that. Let's save. Let's take it down. And let's take it up again. Let's go ahead and give this a good refresh. And now we're in English. So foo bar one, two, three. Okay, so we are set up. So before, oh, actually, I'll just go ahead and create a client. And then um, before I scan it with my QR code, I got to make sure that I'm doing the port forwarding on my router. Um, you do want to create a client for any device and not reuse the same configuration files so that it's clear which device is connecting to the VPN. So I will say Thomas Mobile and go ahead and create that. So now I've got a client here. So I'm going to jump into my 
router configuration, and then I'm going to go to settings and then go to network settings and go to reservation and port forwarding. And now I'm going to add a reservation. So that way the IP address assigned by my router to my server does not change. Let's go ahead and find my Ubuntu VB. And I'm going to save that IP address. And then now I'm going to click on it. And I want to do a port forward. So this is going to be UDP. And then I'm going to call this WireGuard. And that port is going to be 51820. Okay, and then let's go ahead and save that. So now when we connect to our DDNS or our IP address, that is connecting to the router and the router is going to forward that port to our server, which is where we have WireGuard listening. So now I'm gonna jump back into my client. Now, if I install WireGuard on you know, a laptop, I'm probably just gonna download this configuration file and send it over to that laptop. In this case, I'm gonna be just using my mobile device. So I have the convenience of the QR code. Now I'm gonna open up WireGuard on my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new one and then go scan from QR code. And now I'll just hold this up here. And then I'm gonna call this uh, my Ubuntu virtual box create that tunnel and that's all that's all I really need to do so let me go ahead and connect and you can see I've got the the key up there at the top and I can see that I have an active connection so what's cool about this let's turn it off and then let me try to connect to my network drive all right let me turn off wi-fi so I'm going to turn off my wi-fi I was able to connect to my network drive, right? Because I was on the network. So let me refresh this. And what do you know? It can't find the network drive. It says check your network connection. Okay, well, let's fix that. Let's turn on the VPN. Okay, we can see on the web interface that I am connected. And then what do you know? I've got my network drive here because I'm connected to the VPN. Now let's say I wanna get into this admin panel here from my phone, I'm on 5G, but I'm on VPN. So because I opened up that firewall port, I can check the IP address of my server, go back to uh, my network settings, and I have that reservation there. So let's copy that IP address. I'm going to paste this IP address in there and then I'm going to go to that 51821 port, which is where the web interface is running. And check it out. I've got my own admin page here. Let's go to foobar123, sign in. And here we go. So I'm able to see that I'm connected. Uh, if I set up another device, um, maybe my wife, maybe if I'm running a small business and I need people to be able to access the network, I can see who all is connected right here on the admin panel, easily create new clients, and um, we have a secure connection. Now, I believe that was a pretty sufficient tutorial on setting up WireGuard in Docker. If you want me to run through it on Windows with just Docker desktop, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to create that video. Otherwise, it's a very similar process. You're just using Docker desktop and you're using the Windows firewall. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Have a good day.